To start your application, you first have to create a profile for yourself on the UCAS website. So you can just go onto Google, find UCAS, and the website looks a little bit like on the left of the screen. I won't go into too much detail on how to set up your profile today, um, as it's a 20 minute session, but it's a very quick and simple process. And once you log in, it's a very simple form and it's quite self-explanatory. This is the section of the presentation where I'd recommend you can pull out a pen and paper or take a photo of the screen because it covers all the basic things that you will need to kickstart your application. Starting with your high school or undergraduate transcripts and certificates. Even if you don't get your certificate until you graduate, uh, many times your transcript or your predicted grades can help you get a conditional offer from a university. So each university usually provides two types of different offers, a conditional offer or an unconditional offer. An unconditional offer is what you're actually aiming to get, which means you're guaranteed accepted into the university, whereas conditional means the university wants to have you there, but there are some conditions, extra conditions you need to meet in order to enroll into the university. This could be things like an IELTS score or a pending certificate or anything like that. So apart from your transcripts and certificates, you also need a personal statement. So a personal statement is also known as an SOP or a statement of purpose. It's crucial to your application. Sometimes if your grades are on the border, your personal statement can be the make or break between you getting into a university of your choice. It's usually just a short essay, say around one to one and a half page, which equates to 4,000 characters or specifically 615 to 800 words on your UCAS portal. It's basically telling the university why you should be selected to the program on what makes you a great candidate. There are many workshops and tips on how to write great personal statements. In fact, if you're in London, we're gonna be running a personal statement seminar by an Oxbridge graduate on the 5th of November, and you can come along to that as well and ask questions in person. All the details are available on the SIUK website. Apart from these things, you also need a letter of reference. Usually you'd require at least one academic reference amongst the two. If you have been working for a long time, then one academic and one professional reference would do. But if you're a recent high school graduate or undergraduate, um, or you just have an undergraduate degree, then both of them could be a academic reference. You'll also need your a valid passport and ID. Apart from these things, you also need to prepare a small fee for the UCAS applications, which is £26 for the whole set of five applications or 20 for just one application. If you submit your application past the UCAS deadlines or outside of their design deadlines, then the fees may slightly vary. You can also use a buzzword. If you want an agent like SIUK to help you with your application, then you may use a UCAS buzzword called UK Application 15, which is UKA all in caps, application 15, all together with no spaces. What this does is that it grants your designated counselor the ability to view and review your application and make sure that it's all done correctly before you submit it online.